so glad you're here today. It is a beautiful spring evening. Snow has melted. It's even rained a little. And I think we could have a really fun day out in puddles with a boat that we make ourselves. Let's make some boats together. Water, water bottle. Actually, I need to finish this because we're using this. I've got some things I found in our kitchen. We got some skewer sticks. We've got a plastic baggie, a sandwich baggie. I've got another plastic bottle, string, and I found some rubber bands as well. And I have got one more plastic bottle, identical to this one. A plastic container used to hold berries. Mm -hmm. Make sure an adult helps with this part. I did it. See, you could even have your toys set right there. What we need to do is put these two pieces of the boat together. We can do that with rubber bands. Beep -a -doo. Oh, it's scary. Is that a scary noise, Humphrey? Do you not like that noise? Here, I'll, I'll show you. It's not scary. The thing that's making the noise. Now these two parts are together. Ah, it wasn't strong enough. Is this one strong enough? So that's our boat. We also can make a sail. A sail is the part of the boat that's attached to the mast and it catches the wind. So the boat can go in different directions. Make a hole through the top like that. And we're going to poke a hole through there. See that? So if I blow on this side, it turns this way. If I blow on this side, whoa, <laughs> the boat's gonna go this way. Now with the pokey end, you do one last thing. Ah! <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at that. That's our boat, made completely of reused materials. You could make this colorful and very fun by using permanent markers to decorate it. But I'm just not going to. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. I like this look. I like it a lot. Boat number one is just something that floats. Boat number two, beep. Boat number three, you're going to be making a raft. When you are collecting sticks outside for a project, all the ones you need are gonna be on the ground already and so you don't have to take any from the trees. Humphrey helped me break them up a little bit, as you can see. And these are the kinds of twigs you want. So what I am doing with all these sticks is breaking off the little twigs. If you need help, it's good to ask the adults around you. I'm making a little bit of a mess. That's all right, I plan to clean it up afterwards. So we're going to break the sticks all about the same length. <laughs> this is a hard one. <laughs> See how I do this? Boop, bop, beep, boop. And then I turn it a little bit and then... So any stick that is about a pencil's thickness or a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger, it's gonna be perfect for this. We're going to need two of our straighter, long sticks. Line them up like that. And what we're going to do with our glue gun, I glue this end on. And then I glue this end on, one little glob of glue at a time. Okay, this looks really good. Hi, what do you think of our boat? So that is our stick raft. You can set sail and even lead your boat by tying onto your boat. Tie it off and I'll be able to lead it through the water like that. Let's go see how they do outside. But first, I think we should clean up. All the boats that we made, we're gonna test them out in the water because Humphrey's very excited. Let's go. It's very important if you plan on going out in the mud and water that you wear the appropriate shoes. Makers gotta make. I wonder what we'll create. Take some time to get supplies. You'll be surprised what comes to mind. This would be really fun Ooh. in a ditch. <gasps> Makers gotta make. I wonder what we'll create. 
what you imagine can come to be when we use creativity. Woo! Going outside is dirty sometimes. Speaking of which, Humphrey is a little muddy too, but we have a towel for him, so everything's okay, especially if we leave our muddy boots outside. Miss Danny.